nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up the vector. Touch motion. You're going to have clear the towel. we can land the booster separately of course we will get the second stage off and going with the nasa escapade satellites on board on their way to mars trajectory continues to look good seeing good data quality coming down from the vehicle body rate response great to hear phenomenal. that good data quality all seven engines continue looking to look nominal good. next up miko which is main engine cutoff The cheers are real. You can hear them all the way in here. And we have Miko. <gasps> and we have Miko. And we have good stage set. We have good stage separation. Okay. And we have ignition on stage two. Both engine parameters look good. Stage two ignition. Oh, you see the two rockets there. Body rate stamping out nicely. Both BPU engines look good at the uh, high thrust set point. Body rate responses look good. Three minutes, 43 seconds into flight. Look at that view. We have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Both B3U oh, engines great. continue to look good. Fair Body rate response is normal. Seeing good data coming down from both stages. Great data. We're four minutes into NG2. And you saw the spectacular view from good. down Body rate from our GS2. response is continue to look good. This is a nine and a half minute burn for GS2. Not, four uh, minutes, 25 seconds there. into flight. All right, at nine minutes is when we're expecting the first stage to touch down on Jacqueline. Approximately two minutes remaining in the GS-1 coast.
Thank you again, everybody, for joining us for NG2. So far, a nominal mission. GS2 is now 320 kilometers downrange, traveling at 2.8 kilometers per second. Trajectory we continues to look good on both burn, stages. Clean separation, clean fairing Right down the middle jettison. of the range track. Engine operating parameters on GS2 look good. Five Sounds minutes, like our GS2 is having a beautiful ride. The, the NASA escapade satellites are yes, exposed to space now right now. And we've got GS1 the coming down for landing GS2 body at race T nominal. plus nine minutes. One minute remaining in the GS-1 coast. Continue to see good data coming down from both GS-1 and GS-2. Body rates on both stages look good. The E3U engines look good. Everything looking good, looking nominal. Seeing good TVC and, and on this moment on coming up is an important one. Trajectory it is. We're to going good. to... We're going to relight the BE-4 engines for the re-entry burn. Body rate snowing out on GS-1. The exo turn is complete. There you go. It's about 300,000 feet, less than 100 Six kilometers up there, in coming the in for a landing on the Jacklin, 375 miles offshore, waiting for the first time to land and Blue Origin's new Glenn booster shortly. on the Jacklin. Continue to see body rates on GS1. <gasps> that looks great. We have our booster reentry burn. All, all three engines. No matter what happens next, we have had a good day. This is further than we made it on NG1. That's right. See indication of engine ignition on GS1. Continue to see good data from GS1. About a minute and a half. Engine parameters look good. Is when we would see. Confirm engine cut off. Never tell me the odds. Return to Earth. You Seven see it in kind of horizontal position. We've got the streaks on the base of the booster, which give it lift. So right. we can basically fly this booster. Of course, we're using the forward fins as well, plus uh, some of our reaction control system. To, uh, as well as the gimbling on the BE4 engines to turn the, the rocket accordingly. On here it starts to tilt GS1 down. Now halfway One minute to go. GS1 Less than 40,000 feet. Good. GS2 throttle down complete. Responses look good. Eight minutes, 20 seconds from the flight. Landing burning mission, and we have landing burning mission. See three good engines. We've got our booster landing burn. Engine control looks good. Of course, those pods are there. Eight minutes, 43 seconds. Flight deployed. Now down to landing shot burn. From our booster. Standing back to touch.
ignition, but today, as Eddie said, it feels so similar, but it also feels so different in the sense that pressures look good. getting this rocket to space and to be able to reuse this booster is opening a new chapter for Blue Origin. It's opening a new chapter for the space industry. It's opening a new chapter for for space as whole as a not just domestically but internationally to have more point. rockets that can Chamber be reusable to have competition engines. on the market to bring down the cost of accessing space so that our customers whether Tank it's nasa whether it's our friends at amazon kuiper that have signed up uh whether it's biosat we want to be able to share this with the world and as our our founder jeff bezos has said you know, there's so many organizations that want to go up and access space and right. and, and and use those assets. And he flight. he as an investor, he's seen so many companies that have come to him and said, well, that's nice. But all of all of these organizations we'll die on the vine unless you can have burn. reduce the cost of accessing space. And by having another reusable orbital rocket to Fire be able to do that is good. Huge. I cannot yeah, wait to see what this rocket looks Tank like when we bring her back normal. into port in just know. a couple of days, bring her back it's gonna be to our uh, integration facility and get a look at flight. this beautiful rocket. What what a day. And as we take a look at GS2, right now we are approaching Seco 2, which is second engine cutoff. Cut off. And we have good indication of Escapade Blue spacecraft we separation. We do have payload separation confirmed. Go Blue. Second payload coming up, as we mentioned. Just about a couple of seconds more here. Standing by for Spacecraft 2 set. Oh, beautiful live shot from over 700 That's miles gold in space. Confirmed. And gold has separated. Yeah, we not only met our mission objectives today, we exceeded them. That's right. Some of those, just to call them out. We had a clean liftoff. The seven BE-4 engines, they burned that beautiful blue LNG. I wish we could say those that we planned diamonds. it like that, oh. but no, we use the LNG because it's beautiful. And we can it works confirm really well on these launch vehicle data through Stage the separation. System. The two, the two uh, stages separated. We then had uh, the second stage that made a nice clean burn to get uh, our payloads into orbit. We safely delivered the payloads. And then, of course, we had the first booster landing ever of New Glenn. Oh, well, what happened? Did something oh, yeah, happen today? Yeah, we had, there, there's that, that thing that happened. <laughs> New Glenn <laughs> came back for the first time ever. These are, these are just incredible feats of engineering. It's, it is very, very hard, hard to, to do. do. We, you know, I think by now we kind of... We think that it's just normal. As I said, my kids, my child <laughs> thinks that it's normal. But it is so difficult when you're trying to land. And now the next step, the next critical step for our team here will be to get that booster back, look and see how it's performed, and of course, do the refurbishment on it because we are going to fly that booster again.